Hi guys, and welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I'm very happy that you decided to share a little bit of your time with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration and this collaboration is called the $5 Dollar Tree Christmas Centerpiece Challenge. And this collaboration is being co-hosted by Jessica of Measure and Mix and Sherry of Pretty Simple Sherry. I will leave a link to both of their channels down below in the description box. I will also leave a link to the playlist of all the other content creators participating in today's collaboration. Now the details to this collaboration is that we spend only $5, but of course we can use items that we already have in our craft stash. The cylinder I got from the Dollar Tree, you all recognize this. I've had this for quite some time, uh, for years. And uh, so I didn't spend anything on that. The, the iridescent candle, I got that from the Dollar Tree as well. I got that some time ago, so I didn't spend anything on that either. The miniature Christmas trees I will be using today. So that's $1. And then I got some faux snow from the Dollar Tree as well. And that was a dollar. I have two bags here. I do not believe I'm going to use two bags. I'm pretty certain that I'll just use one. The silver paper is something that I already had in my craft stash, along with the tape is something I already had in my craft stash. Those picks are a combination of Dollar Tree and Joanne craft picks, and I already had those in my stash as well. And then I also had a wreath, and this is something else I had in my craft stash. So today I only spent $2 on the items that I got from the Dollar Tree. So now I'm going to take this piece of glitter paper, I've cut it to four and a quarter, and I'm going to attach it to the top half of this cylinder vase. It's going to do double duty. It also, it coordinates, it coordinates with the picks, but it also hides the stems. So it's doing double duty. And now I'm going to add some snow. I changed my mind since she did say that we can use things that we already had in our stash. I'm going to switch the type of snow that I put in the bottom of this vase. I think that's enough. That seems like a pretty decent amount right there. I think it would be so cute if I had a small figurine to place inside of here as well. But I'm going to add this pine cone. But you could place berries, you can place anything that coordinates with your tablescape. Now I'm going to take this wreath and I'm going to use that as my base. And then I've got the coordinating picks that I will take and place in the top. Okay guys, that's it, we're all done. I think that's absolutely beautiful. I like the way that turned out. And it only cost me a dollar because I shopped my home and used things that I already had in my craft stash. I hope you all enjoy the way this project turned out as much as I do. It was pretty easy. If you enjoyed it too, let me know. Again, leave me a comment down below. I appreciate you being here, and I would love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below, along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice, so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I want to thank Jessica of Measure and Mix, and Sherry of Pretty Simple Sherry, for inviting me to participate in the $5 Goodwill Challenge. I had lots of fun. I'm glad you made it this far in my video. Make sure you click the link to one of the videos at the very end. And with that being said, you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye. i
This holiday.